The purpose of this video is to show you how to use your TI-84 or other TI series calculator to solve some problems in our chemistry class. Uh, this is only part one. We'll do some more advanced stuff as we get to doing things like uh, logarithms and doing some pH stuff. So there will be more to come. These are just a few examples that teach you some tips and tricks about how to do certain things. So um, this first problem here I, I'm showing express uh, this value here as uh, 310,000 liters in scientific notation then back again to normal notation. So uh, I'm going to show your uh, the calculator here. So I'm going to put in, I'm trying to show the problem there at the same time. So <clears throat> we're going to type in uh, 310,000 and we press enter and that's just in, in normal notation. You can see up here it reads normal and float. That means it's normal and they're just letting the number of digits uh, float. Let's let's convert the whole calculator to scientific notation. And to do that, <clears throat> we're going to click the mode button here. Click mode, and then we're going to uh, tab over to scientific notation. We can leave that as float. Uh, this is basically how many significant figures you're going to see, or how many decimal places really. Um, and so let's put this to I don't know three. And oops, we click this over here to. We forgot to click enter. I had to click enter first, or it won't stay. Then we go down to what did I say? Three, and we'll click enter there as well. And then we, to exit out of this, there's a lot of other stuff here you won't worry about right now. We'll just click second, and then quit. You'll be using that a lot probably. And look, it looks like nothing's happened, um, but this is different. It's a scientific and fix three. So we'll hit enter here, and you'll see that it has three decimal places. So really four significant figures, and it reads 3.100 times 10 to the fifth, and that's one way to do it. So now all of our equations in the future will be, uh, we'll say like 6,500 uh, times 2, enter, and it comes out this way too. We can even, here's another little point for you, is we can take this value here, which is in, subtract from it, or add, or multiply, or add to, let's say add uh, 32, it just takes the last answer you had adds 32 to it. And then if we wanted to, for example, multiply that number times some number up here, we could just say the answer, you know, times, and then we could just go up here and kind of capture that value and say enter, and it would give us the answer times that value, and there you go. There you have it. If you want to see this in normal notation again, we can go back the same way we did, go back to uh, mode, we click left arrow, oops, over to normal, we click enter. I'll go back down and click this to float, and then we just go second function, quit, and then we hit enter again, and then we get uh, the last, it looks like this, oh, here's the last answer in, uh, it's a large number, so it's still in scientific notation. Let me see if I can multiply this times one, yeah, it's, it's a large number, so it's 10 to the 15th, so it's going to automatically, because it overflows, put it in scientific notation. But if we put in 654, for example, it'll just come out in normal notation, <clears throat> like it's supposed to. So we go clear. Also, something you should know is you can store variables and store your values if you need them again later. You can do something like uh, 87, uh, enter. If you need 87 again later, well, let's just make it easy. Let's go five, enter. You can just go, uh, you have this, the value here, you just say five, store, and then you say alpha, and then see how these are kind of green up upper right hand corner here? You store it in that letter, say alpha. I'll store it in A, hit enter. And if I need this later in my equation, I can say 32 times alpha A, enter, and that'd be 32 times five or 160. That comes out again, or if I want to just know what's in A, I can click. See how it says recall right here? You go second function, recall, alpha A, enter, and it'll tell you what's in A. Um, and there you go. So uh, and you can clear it too in the uh, under the memory menu. You can go to second function, mem, and they'll, all of your memory uh, values will be here under memory management. You can look and, and you can find out what's in your uh, st in your storage for your different values and erase it. <clears throat> um, I'll cl press clear to clear the screen. And let's try some other problems here. We have um, another one which reads 
So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll sort of scratch this one off. We've, we've finished this one here. Um, I'll just kind of scratch that off. And now we're going to do enter 8.1 times 10 to the second in scientific notation in normal mode. So you don't have to be in scientific notation to do stuff in scientific notation. So uh, it says 8.1 times 10 to the second power. Here's how you do that. You say, uh, you type 8.1 and then see this blue double E right here? That means exp that means exponent or scientific notation here. You go 8.1 times 10 to the, um, <clears throat> what did I say, two? Enter, and I was able to enter it in that notation. It didn't come out in that notation, but I entered it. Now, if I enter it in scientific notation, remember I have to enter it such that this is between one and 10. Um, you can also do 8.1 times 10 to the minus two, and here's how you do that. You go eight, or point one, second function, double E, and you don't, you do not click this key. You hit this key down here. The little uh, uh, parentheses negative sign. Some some calculators have a little plus and minus sign, and it looks something like this. It looks like a, a I call it a plusy minusy. It looks like a, a a plus minus, and that changes the, the what they call the parity of it. In the CI calculators, uh, that that key looks like like this, a little negative sign. So um, it's not really my preference, but that's what it looks like. We would say 10 to the negative two enter, and that gives you a, a different value, and that's how you do that. Um, Here's an example how you kind of use these things in cooperation. Here's a problem for you. What is the number of molecules in 1.09 cubic centimeters of a substance if, oops, I should have read the top part for you first, apologize. There are 7.11 times 10 to the 24th molecules in 100.0 cubic centimeters of a certain substance, who knows what, flour, let's say. And then the question is, what is the number of molecules in 1.09 cubic centimeters of the substance. Well, we have an equality here. We use the equality to make a conversion factor. And um, this is given that these are equal one another. So our only significant figures are here. Well, there's three. And so we'll just uh, we'll just do this problem. <clears throat> just, just as it's written here, I'll try to, uh, I don't know if I can keep them both on screen at once. I'll do my best. Uh, I'll try to maybe scoot this up a little higher. I can't really do it. Okay. So we're going to say 1.09. I'm going to clear this and say um, 1.09 uh, times 7.11 times 10 to the 24th. Then it's going to be divided by 100.0, enter, and that's my answer. <clears throat> 7.75 times 10 to the 22nd is the answer to this problem. We could also have done it to keep your, your mind straight. We could say left parenthesis 1.09 uh, times 7.11 times 10 to the 24th right parenthesis then divided by 100.0 and hit enter and we get the same answer. You could also stop and say 1.09 times 7.11 um, times 10 to the 24th, hit enter, then taken that value, hit divided by 100.0, enter, and you'd get the same answer. Well, this answer is now this right answer because it was off by a factor of 100 before. <clears throat> Those are some examples of how you might do that sort of math that kind of help you out a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so uh, last one, this one reads, the room is 250 feet squared. How many square centimeters is this? Note that 2.54 centimeters is one inch and one foot is 12 inches. So this one's a little harder. It's come, sort of some combined units making up stuff things. So let's start with what we know and we'll just do the math here <clears throat> and what we're given. So we'll start with, we have uh, 250 square feet times, and then we're going to start with, we don't have square feet here, but we have feet, and it's easy enough to build uh, feet into stuff, and it says we want to get to, in, we want to get to square centimeters, so we're going to say uh, we have feet, and we don't know how many centimeters are in a foot, so we're going to go with inches, and then we're going to say times something in inches is something in centimeter. <clears throat> so we'll say that one foot 
is 12 inches, and then we'll say that 2.54 centimeters is uh, one inch. And then to make everything square, we just square everything. We'll say 12 squared inches squared is one squared foot squared, and 2.54 squared centimeters squared is one squared inches squared. You just square everything and then it works out okay. <clears throat> so then we'll do our math over here. We'll say, <clears throat> excuse me, we will say that, uh, we'll say, we'll go left parenthesis. We don't really need it, but we'll say 250 times uh, 12. And you can either hit the squared button right here, or you can hit the to the power of and then two button. I'm going to do it both ways. I'll hit the square button here. That squared uh, times 2.54, and then we'll hit the current. It's called the current key, and two. And I will arrow to get back down. Hit my right parenthesis. And for the sake of completeness, I'll say, I'll go. I'll divide by the ones divided by uh, one squared times one squared, right parentheses, enter. And the answer is 23,232,257.6 uh, centimeters squared. That's a big number, right? So let's write that down, 232. The answer is uh, 232,257.6. That seems pretty big. We only have three significant figures, right? So we can only write this, we can only report this out to here. So let's write a little bit bigger. Two, three, two, two, five, seven point six. And in scientific notation, remember it has to be between one and ten. So we're gonna say it's two point three two something or other, right? Let's figure out how, what that is, and we'll just use our calculator to help us out a little bit. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna say convert this to scientific notation. So I'm gonna say here. And I'm going to hit enter, and I go down one. I want two decimal places, and the answer, I hit enter, I go second function, quit, and then I hit enter again, and then my number comes out, it's 2.32 times 10 to the fifth. So the answer I would report is, uh, is 2.32, 2.32 times 10 to the fifth. So I hope that helps you a little bit with your chemistry unit conversion and using how, learning how to use your TI-84 calculator.